Hi, I'm Kirby Allison. In today's video, we're gonna review the Carmina Chestnut Semi Brogue Oxford Dress Shoot and their Inca Last. I'm Kirby Allison, and I love helping the well-dressed acquire and care for their wardrobes. Join me as we explore the world of quality, craftsmanship, and tradition. As part of our dress shoe review series, today we take a look at Spanish shoemaker Carmina's number 80251 Chestnut Semi Brogue Oxford on the beautiful Inca Last. Recognizing us as one of the leading authorities on luxury men's dress shoes worldwide, Carmina has graciously agreed to grant us access to their entire collection of shoes to review for you on this YouTube channel. The Carmina number 80251 Semi Brogue Oxford is made with the beautiful chestnut vegetable tan leather on the Inca Last. The shoe features broguing on the toe cap, vamp, and rear quarters. I really appreciate Carmina's ability to retain all the broguing elements one would expect on a semi-brogue without the shoe being overwhelmed or looking too busy. This is achieved with several techniques we'll discuss in a bit. Originally, broguing was the prevail of English country shoes, but it was adopted by American professionals in the sack suit era as the most conservative of footwear, and they made it their own for business. This shoe in its beautiful light brown chestnut color makes it a perfect weekend or more casual shoe. It could easily be paired with lighter colored trousers and a jacket for a more business casual look. Based on the Spanish island of Mallorca, Carmina is best known for their cult-like following among shoe aficionados for their ability to combine extraordinary softness and comfort with sturdy Goodyear welting and elegant last designs. For those who enjoy the more nuanced elements of shoemaking, Carmina offers an excellent value with most of their calfskin models beginning at just $450 with free shipping to the United States. For more information about Carmina, take a look at our Carmina brand overview video. This shoe has all the traditional elements of a semi brogue with its medallion and broguing elements, but without being overwhelming or looking too busy. In fact, for a semi brogue it's actually quite a clean looking shoe, which I really appreciate. There is a great balance between the beautiful open leather pieces and the broguing, which showcases the natural beauty of the vegetable tanned leather. Carmina is able to achieve this balance on the number 80251 pattern using several techniques. First, they use single needle stitching along the broguing. I've seen this done by other makers using double or even triple stitching, essentially creating four or five rows along the broguing. And this is not the case on these Carminas, they're able to keep the broguing still looking quite clean. Second, the size of the punching is quite small and tight, which further reduces the weight of this visual element of the shoe. Combined with the single needle stitching, it still offers great visual detail, but without being heavy or making the shoe seem out of balance. Lastly, the broguing element that arches up the facing of the shoe, along the laces, and around the neck to the heel is achieved by punching the side quarter pattern piece. This is not a separate pattern piece like on the Allen Edmonds Strand. Again, the result is a much lighter look that retains a large, smooth leather panel on each side. As with all Carminas, these shoes have only five eyelets, which, when combined with the tighter broguing pattern and the single needle stitching, opens up and elongates the vamp. The benefit of a large open vamp is that it allows the shoe to better control creasing and ensures that the shoe does not crease across the cap or other pattern elements. This is particularly important if you're producing any higher gloss mirror shine across the medallion because any creasing that is outside the vamp and in the toe cap will always cause that mirror shine to crack. The cap features Carmina's medallion number no. three, which is one of eight medallion designs that can be used through the company's MDO program. The shoe also features pinking or gimping, which are the small decorative triangular cuts along the pattern pieces. The toe shape of the Inca last really gives this shoe a beautiful elongated silhouette that still is quite classic without being too old fashioned. In some ways it's contemporary because again, the shape of this toe isn't large and round like you would see uh, on older shoes that you may remember from like the 70s or 80s. It's round, which is still quite traditional without being too large, making it old fashioned. You can tell that Carmina really put a lot of thought and work into the design of this semi brogue. Semi brogues are very easily made too busy with too much going on between the broguing, the stitching and various pattern pieces. But this shoe, again, retains all these traditional elements while still being quite clean, simple, and elegant. This particular model is made out of Carmina's chestnut vegetable tanned leather. 
Vegetable tan leather is tanned using vegetable matters like oak bark and spruce bark, chestnut wood, etc., and is a more traditional way of tanning. It produces a leather that is yellow or light beige in color and is softer, more natural looking than chrome tanned leathers. Vegetable tanned leathers are most often used for brown colors where a little bit of the finishing is applied at the factory itself. The leather is of course open pore and features an even grain structure, which is indicative of the quality of leather used by Carmina. The vegetable tanned leather, especially in this light chestnut color, is just waiting to be polished and will easily create burnishing or antiquing effects as areas of the shoes darken over time as it's polished. Full leather outsoles are used with full leather heel blocks and combination top lifts. Metal toe taps can be added at an additional charge through their MTO process, but you can see that brass tacking is included standard at the tip of the toe, on the sides, and along the heel. One of the things that I absolutely love about Carmina's shoes is the work that is put into finishing the outsole itself. You can see that this outsole is fully uh, dyed and polished to match a beautiful, even brown that with this shoe really balances it out. One of the things that I love about a high quality shoe is that just as much work and thought is put into the finishing of the outsole and bottom of the shoe as is put into the upper. Carmina is so well known among shoe enthusiasts because of how well their shoes are constructed. All of the elements of quality and craftsmanship that one would expect on a high quality pair of factory made Goodyear welted shoes can be found here. First, the shoe is completely Goodyear welted, which is the de rigueur of high quality factory made shoes. This is important because a high quality pair of shoes like these Carminas, if cared for properly, should easily yield three to five years of regular use. However, the upper, if properly polished and not destroyed by water or snow, could last 20 to 30. The Goodyear welting allows for a pair of shoes to be easily resold without disturbing the integrity, fit, or shape of the shoe. The outsole can be easily pulled off and a new one sewn back on by a skilled cobbler, like with our Kirby Allison Certified Shoe Restoration Program. Carmina uses a 3 quarters and not a 360 degree welt, which ends right at the heel. This is the preferred method on higher quality shoes because it allows the heel to sit more neatly on top of the heel base. The outsole features a high stitch density and welt fudging, which are the small indentations pressed into the top of the welt using a wheel. This is a beautiful design detail that is essential, in my opinion, for any well-made shoe. Another element, and one that I find very important, is that the outsole is stitched to the welt using an invisible channel, as opposed to an open channel found on shoes like Allen Edmonds. This creates a much more beautiful outsole that conceals the outsole stitching. The upper is also very well lasted, which gives the shoe good definition. You can tell that a shoe has been quickly lasted by machine if there is little to no shape to the upper. However, with these Carminas, you can see that the shoe indeed has nice shape along the edges of the shoe, and especially where the upper meets the waist. You can really appreciate just how well lasted these Carminas are by looking on the interior edge of the shoe and how you really see a three-dimensional roll to the upper. This is created through special lasting techniques that pulls the last tight over the last and then allows the upper to sit on the last for several days or weeks so that that shape is uh, memorized by the leather itself. One of the ways that you can really test and showcase just how much uh, last shape is built into the shoe is by taking something like a pencil and dropping it straight down right here at this interior edge. You have almost a full centimeter built into the arch right here. And then it also allows for a much narrower waist to be cut into the shoe itself. Now the Carmina doesn't have a fiddle backed waist, but it still has a nice tight waist that just creates definition and shape to the outsole and the upper itself. The construction techniques allow for the beauty of this last to really shine through the finished shoe. These Carmina Chestnut Semi Brogues are available stock from a UK size 5 to a UK size 14 and in an E width. UK sizes are a half size smaller than the equivalent US shoe size. So if you're a nine and a half in an American shoe, such as an Allen Edmonds, you'd want to purchase a UK nine from Carmina. The only challenge to Carmina is that they do not have an extensive brick and mortar network of stores here in the United States to try on shoes. That said, Carmina does have a boutique in New York City, as well as several boutiques throughout Europe, and a very generous flat rate return shipping policy that costs just $35. After you know what size shoe you wear from Carmina, you should be able to easily purchase shoes from their website. 
I really have to say that I love Carmina and can understand why they have such a strong following amongst budget conscious and quality seeking shoe aficionados. Carmina is really able to deliver a shoe at a higher quality than comparably priced shoes from other brands. Because Carmina is both the factory and the brand, and because the majority of their distribution is direct, they're able to pack a higher amount of quality into their shoes than what would be commonly found at similar price points. Carmina is passionate for shoemaking and everything about how these shoes are constructed and finished is superb. At $450, they're an incredible value in a shoe that anyone could be proud to wear. These Carmina Semibrogues are absolutely beautiful shoes, especially in this chestnut color, which beautifully exemplifies the Semibrogue pattern, which is meant to be a more casual shoe. This is a great shoe for anyone that enjoys wearing odd trousers and jackets, dresses slightly more casually at work, or is looking for a beautiful dress shoe to dress up a pair of jeans. For America's business casual culture and for the weekends, this is a perfect shoe. In addition to all the elements of craftsmanship that are here on this shoe, I really appreciate how Carmina has been able to balance this semi-brogue pattern out without having it appear too busy or too cluttered. I hope you've enjoyed our in-depth review of the Carmina Chestnut Semi-Brogue Shoes. Click the link in the video description to view our full playlist of videos from our shoe review series. And if you have any suggestions of shoes you'd like to see us review, please post them in the comment section below. If you enjoyed this video, please make sure to click the like button below. And finally, please visit our website, hangerproject.com, where we have collected and curated the finest assortment of luxury garment care and luxury shoe care accessories in the world, as well as other products for the well-dressed like this tie I'm wearing today. I'm Kirby Allison, and we love to help the well-dressed acquire and care for their wardrobes. Thanks for joining me. Thank you.